Hi there friends, so this is a little bit of a different video where I've sped up uh, what we've done because I've tried this fight um, three times and only at the third time I could really beat it because there's so much to learn about this so it's rather going to be an explaining video about the fight against that Anguithan, Anguithan Titan it's basically a boss fight, it has uh, choreography that you'll see over the course of the video and it's quite important where you place your people initially. There are probably other methods, but um, I haven't really found anything big, substantial online. So I, I, I'm going for this to be like something of a guide. I will just explain what I did and how it worked. So it, it should be good because I did even quite a number of mistakes and misclicks. And still it worked at the third attempt, so it was just a sound overall strategy. And let me show you how it played out. So first, just looking at the people to place them. I hide them before, just that's usually the better choice. Um, where they stand, and there will be a couple of um, skeletal menaces coming in. As you can see here, one of them is a mage. The one in the middle is the mage. The mage is the most dangerous. The others are still very dangerous, especially when your people get low on health. So avoid being low on health. You'll see what happens when one of you is low on health. So what you should aim for is first, um, of course, as you can, buffing your people up. But the main thing is to get rid of the mage as quickly as you can. And what is also advantageous is tanking them off. But really, the first priority is killing off that Risen Mage because that can cause you so many problems, it's crazy. So that's what we focused on because that thing has a lot of tricks on its sleeve and also a lot of, a lot of significant damage. So we're using Kevava here to with his with his big sword and a disciplined strikes to dish out the damage as quickly as he can and as you'll see these these monsters are very tricky um they tricked me one time because they uh, as you'll later see yeah of course have your tank you should have some kind of tank have your tank on the titan just give him everything with defense. I even made a mistake here as I could uh, change weapons because I have a black jacket. So the thing about the Titan is that the best damage to, to do on the Titan is crush damage. And the same basically goes for the Risen Mages and stuff. So if you have a good equipment for crush damage, then use it use it for this fight it's it's going to be so much easier as you can see crush damage is the best damage you can you can get on them piercing damage is one of the worst damages and later on there are going to be some additions as you can see here this was the time when the risen mage tricked us and just went around there the risen mage can really do horrible things to you so i'm very happy that our mage here did what he uh, did what she could and and eliminated him. I've used the direct attacks very often at the start of this, and here you can see um, I had to do a little bit to to save our guy here, just to be safe. Like be safe with your tank. When in doubt, when in doubt, then then heal. And here you can see what these armsmen can do. Have you seen that? The the health of our priest was reduced to only one third, and he's even in his bow form. That was a precaution, right? So the mage is down, and we're going to tank the other armsmen so that nothing bad happens again. But there will be something, something quite crazy happening later on you'll see so we're tanking it so that's at least stopping uh, the shooting we're also healing the priest just as a precaution you need to be very careful with this 
as I've said, just keep your people up, like in the at least half, a little bit over half, if you can. At least un until these uh, guys, these risen, are out of the way. The others aren't so impressive. As you see, we should have swept the weapons there with with our tank again, but we didn't, and it we still we still could do it. So I'm just. I just wanted to give him something, something here to regenerate. But in the end, I, <laughs> I misclicked and uh, just only healed myself. <laughs> Should have moved in a little bit further, and then. So, there's that. And now there's something happening um, very soon. Look at the bear. The bear is usually very, very tanky and good. Is like maybe the 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 third or the second strongest tank we have. So there's really a lot to this. You can see we're now taking care of the other risen armsmen. We're like splitting the party up. Maybe we should have done this a little bit differently, but um, we had to pin our... Yeah, now now the bear is, is down in health. Now the bear is down in health and boom! Can you see that, what happened there? Bam, the other one teleported over and eliminated the bear with some kind of uh, final strike, <laughs> which will lead to us later reviving the bear because having the bear is very instrumental later on. Thankfully, we can eliminate this armsman now quite quickly. Now we tried to heal the bear because I knew that it was important, but it only came through too late with over 80 damage done to the bear that has really high defensive values. He was just gone. You see here wandering is the mark of the hunt. It's now on the Risen Armsman, so we've got a good bonus on that. Meanwhile, the giant is kicking um, our tank around. And now we're preparing for something that will come later. And while we're staying around, it's because I don't know exactly when it will come. There will be an addition of three other mobs, or even more. Yeah, three bigger ones and two smaller ones that will be coming later on. So we're moving over, staying together except for our tank Adonan. And here I use the scroll. I had a scroll revive the fallen. Not a very, very uh, expensive scroll, but still very, very useful. Uh, for that fight because i don't know if i could have done it without that scroll and that scroll by the way is the only thing i've used for this fight i haven't used no potions um or, or things like that i have only well i've used i think one or two heal potions of the of the medium or of the smaller sort even and then this revival scroll so it's really it's really not an intensive fight if you do it right so the first thing as you've seen, is we would eliminate. Um, yeah, now he's very much down, and using his paladin abilities to keep keep him top off that is really important. So I'm doing some buffing here. Like in re retrospect, we wouldn't have needed that buffing because it's not so hard to hit the to hit the uh, giant. Rather save these spell slots for healing if you if you can do that instead. Healing, 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 healing. That's what you need to do to the tank, and the tank will do the rest. Just have to have a tough tank. And Adonan is not purely skilled on tanking, but he's good enough for that. Then I'm trying out some some of the clouds just to see if you can debuff the giant, and you can. You cannot really give him a lot of damage with spells. But like some things like chill fog or um, like that that uh, mind debuffing the mind is is really a good good thing. What I'm doing with a priest is uh, priest druid is I'm giving him like some regeneration around there, and that keeps him alive. That keeps him alive because really the, the giant. If you if you do it right, the giant after a while doesn't have like a big amount of of damage dishing out. It seems like the damage is 
even going down a bit after a while. I also need to be very, very careful and uh, if you can, then top your tank off. There's the game pause. I have no idea why. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just checking something out. As I can see here, if you have something like a blood mage, you can also make these circles of regeneration and have your blood mage in so you have more spells. The spells mostly work as debuffs on that on that thing. So there's that. Um, the buffs on your people aren't that effective because they don't really add too much. The main thing, as you see, is having crush damage. Um, the right damage type on that thing helps immensely in, in beating it. I'm moving the people into the regeneration cycle, the moon well, so they get a little bit of damage. That will be very important later on. And you should also uh, be be rested. Like have your, your reserve spell thing available if you can. I'm giving the tank the watchful presence. That will never trigger, but it's very useful to have. As you can see, um, with a two-handed mace, our tank is doing a lot more damage to the to the guy. And we'll see a little bit more later on. As we're a little bit uh, more brave, you can even you can even maybe at even at this time you could flank him, but it's not that good. Like I'd rather have you do as I did here and just range attack because later as I said there's going to come yeah the miasma of dull mindedness for example that's still pretty good so there's going to come a lot of mobs in and you need to eliminate them first or it's rather much easier to have them eliminated first I still attacked all the time with my crushing damage which is my ranger and she had a scepter in which she's also a little bit specialized in. And of course, Adonan with his two-handed mace. And this crushing damage I kept going and the, all the other people focused on the ads. I'm sure the ads will, they will come soon. Uh, at a certain point, the Inguithan Titan, I think at half health or something, um, then you will have an ad of three sand elementals and two scarab beetles. I'm experimenting a bit and the, the interesting thing, like now I have this this grasp added to my to my mage. You can see that we can attack with that grasp. It's a touch attack though. Whoop, that adds something good and boom. Yeah, as soon as you're in the range of the Titan, you'll get a big attack. And that range of the attack is quite big. So we were lucky we, we, could, we, we wouldn't get the attack uh, in with a, with a priest actually. So there's that. Now, now we're coming close to the, to the ads that are coming in. Sometimes I didn't get all the people in it's also something you can work on to make it even better. To have all the people close to each other in that phase, so you can use these heals, these group heals, to do something. I was reluctant to have them close to the Titan because sometimes the Titan uh, in previous in the previous two attempts just moved around and grabbed someone and killed him or her. So um we, we would avoid that too. Like not don't be effective at, at any price. Be careful, rather. That's that's a lot more important. So the Titan getting damaged. And we're going close here, just losing, using sometimes the, even the little buffs. If you have only little buffs, uh, they can also help. Like, for example, Fit is a buff that adds uh, just some some constitution, I think, for a short time. What it effectively does, it gives you extra hit points, and these extra hit points are consumed first. And 
when the buff is away, you don't get these these hit points don't get subtracted from you. So what it effectively does is it gives you a, a hit point buffer. So it's a very good spell, even though um, you wouldn't think it's a good spell at at first, like because it just adds I think three. Uh, constitution or something now now they appear as you see there's two scarabs and three of the elementals we have nina goes a bit of mooring on the giant to debuff him a bit and that worked one time and the other time it didn't work but it it was okay it was a nice try um what we'll have here is a death ring that's just spawned a around our blood mage to do some damage when, when someone walks in. So that gives a, that's a good head start, but it's not instrumental. You don't have to have this kind of thing, even if it um, helped a lot. That's a little bit similar to the thing you can do with a priest against the undead, right? But it just has no healing. It has a little bit more damage. As you can see, these um, are not so intense attackers, but they spread their damage out a little bit. Um, and so we are all trying to stay in that circle of regeneration. I'm trying things again here with the toxic cloud, and that kind of helped, I think. It just hits, I think, two two of them or three of them, but it's good enough. It's definitely good enough. A noxious burst is coming soon. And always make sure um, everything is tanked a little bit. Yeah, the thing with the, with the mist here, with the blinding mist, um, cold, cold mist, was that um, one of our people stepped into that, but that was also not, not too bad. So we survived it. So you can see there's a lot of room for improvement, but a general strategy and, and tactic for this fight was just um, so good that it wasn't close at all. And I'm, I'm really happy with this, this going through. First, now we're focusing the Scarab Beetles down with the help of the bear and Kavava stays on the others doing his damage and the ranged people focusing down everyone step by step as it should be like the ranged people focus and the melee people defend right? and, and the first thing is of course to take that scarab down to avoid the range um, the, the, the flanking on Adonan what you see here is that the bear gets quite a bit of damage because he is, as you can see here, he's definitely in the range of the Titan. So you need to be very, very careful where you when you walk around that Titan with one of your people. Walk to the back. I think that worked even if I did not walk out of that. But definitely at the front, he has a very, very high range where he challenges you. And if you go out of that range, then you'll get an attack of opportunity, basically. Boom. And that can be like 50, 50 hit points. And the bear has pretty good defenses. So <laughs> there's that. You have seen it earlier also with a with a mage. But it was still a net win because it just gave uh, it just gave him 50 damage too. So and we, we healed later on. And there's that. Just going for a couple of protection spells and so on, so long as uh, we're under attack by the elementals. Now the elementals get taken down, but constantly Adonan and our ranger hit the the titan with, with their crushing weapons. Just keep that going. Uh, if, if you have all your people's equip people equipped with crushing weapons um, or with a crushing weapon of, of the two weapons they have. And it's probably not so critical to do this all the time, and you can rather focus 
um, for example, the the additionals, uh, the the adds down first, and then go for the Titan. But in our setup, it was instrumental to to split this up to get this going because we didn't have so much crush damage, and so it was important to keep that going because you cannot hold forever. Your um, your tank cannot hold forever. We even used uh, the reserve spells of the priest druid to to survive that. We are getting more damage in. Adonan is still holding. You can see we are even using the wall with a with a very nice yellow shield. But you should notice that none of our weapons are enchanted in any way. We're just using the usual st stuff that we have collected until until now in the game, and not very many potions. I, I think it was two heal potions, and then that scroll of uh, revive the fallen on the bear. Well, what we also didn't use was statues. Statues would also be maybe a good idea, just to take um to take off some something of your back like you just have some creatures that get hit instead of you while you're doing that thing so yeah, so as you can see it's it's really a test of how oh, what what should i call it like you need a long time to to bring this down on max scaling path of the damned, on, on high scaling path of the damned. It's just um, it's just a real grind and it's just one fight. So you really have to make sure that you're, you're, you're regenerating, that you're using weapons that are good for the occasion, that you're sometimes using debuffs when you have them available like we did here. with a priest and uh, just just keep your people alive that's the main thing and keep that constant damage going on the titan so it will at some point get down and yeah also keep your your tanks health okay i think above two thirds if you if you can and trust also in the tank and give him like that these regen regeneration spells they are very powerful they will help him if you have a paladin, um, use your lay on hands sometimes. It can really help. We also used um, the regenerating spells ability on Adonan to gain more uses of lay on hands and stuff. So. And in the end, that also helped us survive a little bit longer, which was the total point of this. Now, you might ask, um, how quick is this? Now, I've turned this up to around a little bit more than, yeah, a little bit around, I think, three times speed. So this is three times, um, three times of this and you'll have roughly the duration of the fight so <laughs> if you're doing that fight um, <coughs> do it in your in your spare time where you don't have to go anywhere if you're doing it in the highest difficulty it's a very long fight mm, at least how we did it but as we were successful, I don't think it was a bad strategy. It, it must have been a good strategy. There, he, I paused shortly to do something. Mm. Yeah, putting down that that phantom also makes a lot of sense. That's it's just adding like. So I would even just stop commenting, now let's continue. As we can see here, just giving him the last uh, that we can. Doing a lot of damage and we're trying to, yeah, we're a little bit struggling to keep up. We only have um, 
the healing from Adonan still, from his Paladin abilities, so... It's getting kind of close, but not really close, and at the end, um, all of our abilities uh, do quite some something, because we have some uh, skills that increase the damage uh, on low hit points opponents, or increase the to hit chance and damage and stuff, especially from from Kevava. And they're really uh, getting used, all of them are getting used. There's really some crits incoming now on that thing, and then that uh, really helps us. As you see, we use potions of minor healing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's not that much needed. Now we're getting to the last part of it. And it's really a, a, a great task to do. To bring this one down i know there may be people that do this solo but i i really i cannot believe it <laughs> it's a it's a strong opponent i definitely could have done some things better but the general strategy worked out f very fine and so i think if you use it this setup like like i did and you have the right weapons as i said crushing weapons are probably best um some debuffing spells on the titan then you're probably probably very fine. Uh, yeah, keep out of that threat range of the of the guy that so so you don't get an attack of opportunity if you have to move out again, and keep your people like topped off or keep a distance. Um, especially at the start, you need to, to keep them topped off, or it will happen. What we've seen with Lord Paul, with that I don't know seventy eighty damage in in one attack um that just took him down <laughs> so there's that thank you for watching and happy gaming to you this is Immanuel Khan signing out see you soon my friends and happy gaming